Daniel, uh, a point here at the Hawthorns, is that um, a draw that you are happy with in the end? Uh, to be honest, we were pretty greedy today and before the game, we had just had one topic, we want to win this uh, game and um, yeah, we're just dancing on the table uh, in the dressing room where we really uh, win games, but in general, without any doubt, it's a decent point, so away at West Brom is always a tough place and it's a really good side, and especially when you're back in such a game, it's so difficult to come back and uh, to travel away with points and uh, we did today and for that, uh, big compliments to the lads, it's without any doubt um, um, a good point and also a fair result. Yeah, I was going to say, on that point, did you think in the balance of play over the 90 minutes you feel the, dad, the lads did enough to get a point in the end? Yes, absolutely, because it's a fair result, so all statistics are quite quite equal. Uh, also, the uh, the goals were pretty pretty similar in the end. Uh, I got the feeling West Brom started well and uh, were better in the first 20 minutes. Deserved to be in lead, we were not confident enough in, in the spirit. It's, it's also what sometimes happens when, um, happens when um, you have several players on the pitch who are coming back from injury, so sometimes it starts a bit rusty. After that, I think the uh, second part of the first half, we were pretty close to equalise. And then the second half, we invested so much and created a lot, but it was also difficult because you have uh, to take more and more risk. And uh, of course, West Brom with the quality in the offense, Gale, Rodriguez, and Robson Canoe, they have so much quality. It's, it's difficult to control all the counter threat. Also, a few scenes. So in, in, in general, my feeling was was a fair result and a good point at the end. Yeah, and obviously the main impact came uh, in sort of the last 10 minutes with um, a combination of Kenny McLean and Jordan Rhodes getting the goal. The substitutes, it must be nice for yourself as a head coach when you make a substitution that really pays off. Yes, we had even before several good situations in the box and also a good strike of Dennis Rabini and uh, Timo Pukki with uh, good chances. Um, uh, yeah, but then the last 50 minutes we changed the system a bit to 3-5-2 and uh, yeah, I want to change the balance of the of the game. But yeah, on the other hand, you can have an idea as a coach, but it's totally up to the players to bring it on the pitch. And yeah, brilliant situation because uh, the first try of Kenny was uh, was not his best, but he got the ch second chance and really good delivery. And then John Rhodes with a brilliant movement on the on the first post and pretty calm down uh, finish. So it's, it was really a goal of full of full of quality, a typical proper striker goal. And I'm pleased for for Jordan and uh, also for, for Kenny he was out for nearly five months it's always good to add um, end products to the statistics and um, yeah in the end um, it was a good point yeah and looking at the two team sheets before the game you look at ours we have the likes of Jamal Lewis Max Aarons Ben Godfrey Todd Cantwell mm -hmm. coming up against such an experienced West Brom side and to dig in and get a point in the end the experience will stand the youngsters in good stead won't it Yes, especially after after a bit shaky start, it's it's not easy. Then uh, I got the feeling in the first 20 minutes we were a bit too much impressed of the atmosphere and also of the quality of, of West Brom and uh, didn't play confident enough. So not our style, so we were not proactive in the first 20 minutes. We were a bit uh, too much um, just reacting, but. Then uh, I was totally pleased with our reaction because uh, when you're back here and you know uh, the stadium is celebrating and uh, all the big players here on the on the pitch, but then to get back to recover from the situation and uh, to find back to your style, to play confident and to equalize and uh, nearly turn the game uh, completely, big compliment especially to the young lads and uh, yeah, I'm pleased today. Yeah, and just finally a word on our um, travelling support. I mean, 2,700 of them here today. They travelled in their numbers. And I suppose it was nice for you and the lads to give them something to cheer about on the way home. Yeah, this is amazing. And this away end uh, was really sold out since, since weeks. So during several periods today, although we were back, I uh, got the feeling it was more or less a home game. So it was unbelievable support and unbelievable unity again. It was, was great to be allowed to play in front of the supporters. And of course, we're happy that we sent them back with a really good point. And uh, yeah, I hope they can enjoy the travel back and also the whole weekend.